There's a new awesome 90s arcade style game out for various consoles, PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and Steam, and that's Battle Axe. And it is kind of inspired by arcade classics such as Gauntlet and Golden Axe with something new. In today's video, I'm gonna take a look at this game and share with you my thoughts of it. It's got some awesome features, co-op, and much more. Let's take a look. Numskull Games sent me a review code for the Nintendo Switch. This game will be available at the end of the month, and it has definitely got some awesome features. You can even have a CRT shader option if you choose to play it that way. Lots of different options. Simple controls, there's even built-in achievements. I really like that. That adds kind of replayability to the game. It definitely, if you're a fan of like Gauntlet or Golden Axe, it was heavily inspired by those games. Controls are really simple. You can use an item, shoot, melee, and dash. And so there's three characters, Marauder, Dark Elf, and a Druid. I like the Druid. Personally, um, the Marauder was my least favorite, and you know the Dark Elf is pretty quick and nimble, and uh, that was a great character as well. So here's the Druid. The Druid is very powerful, and uh, you know melee. It's kind of cool. It uses his beard to fend off enemies, and so it's it's pretty pretty simple overhead arcade experience. Uh, I want to also mention the awesome music is done by. Minami Matsume and the pixel art is done by Hank Nyborg. Both are industry, you know, legends. They did several games and were involved with several projects and so really cool, really shows. This looks to me kind of like a Sega Saturn style 90s game. You know, it really it really has a nice pixel art look to it. It's not, you know, kind of that cheap look. It, it looks very well done and I really like what they did here. You know, the, as a single player experience, it's good. I do prefer the co-op experience, you know, playing with uh, uh, my, my son. And we really enjoyed kind of going through this and checking it out. And so, uh, but that sound, sound is really great as well. And so you're going around, so you have to rescue people and get to the end of the level, fight a boss, and then move on to the next stage. There's various items to pick up. You can get potions and spells. The spells are heavily inspired by, I would say, Golden Axe. And you know, you can replenish, you can find food on the ground, uh, such as chicken. You can also get potions to restore your life. Uh, there is various things too. You can upgrade as well as get, you know, additional life bars, as well as additional uh, things to make you faster and all sorts of things to to make you survive and so it's 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 a great game I really like what they did here uh, I think it it's a welcome addition to the Nintendo switch but really you can play this on anything you know steam ps4 Xbox one it's it's coming so I'm really glad that they're offering this on all the platforms you know a lot of people kind of get uh, frustrated you know they see a cool game and then they can't play it because it's not coming to their preferred platform and so it's pretty cool I really like this and so wanted to show kind of a little bit of the gameplay and first look here. I really do like this game. I ended up going on uh, the Geek Store and picking up a physical copy of this. Limited Run Games is also going to be offering a physical edition of this. There's also kind of like a badge edition with some additional things added as well. And so very affordable game, 30 bucks digital. I think for a little bit more you can get a physical copy standard edition. And so there's a lot to like here. Uh, the co-op mode, as I mentioned before though, is where it's at. I really like what they did here. It's it's a lot of fun. Kind of just, it's a throwback to kind of a classic arcade game. I could totally see this in an arcade cab in the 90s. Uh, you know, the sprite work is excellent. You know, and I really like that they went with kind of like a 32-bit style look with this. Um, you know, it definitely reminds me of something kind of like the you know mid to late 90s you know i you know for some reason i just really think this looks like a saturn game it has that really awesome sprite work and and uh you know it's got some awesome bosses this is the first boss and you know uh definitely use your bomb and your magic spells on this if you have them and so you save those up for bosses that's what i recommend and you know take it out and then you get a a ranking at the end of the stage how well you did 
and as you progress uh, you can go to a, a shop and purchase various things you know replenish your health as well as upgrades and so I really think that this is going to cater to someone who loves arcade games now here's the infinite mode this is another mode in the game and I actually like this as the best mode as it just is kind of stage after stage you're 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 rescuing various people and then once you rescue all the people in the stage it just ports you to the next stage and i really like that it gets pretty crazy i you know i got to stage seven i do believe and you know it you know playing with the dark elf uh you know she's the fastest and probably the weakest but you know i found i found it a little bit easier to play infinite mode with her you can do co-op in infinite mode and that's a lot of fun as well and so there's various storekeepers that pop up and you can upgrade and that's really to survive it so it's all about you know uh, getting various items and trying to survive and get as far as you can and i'm really glad they added this infinite mode because i as much as i like the main game and the achievements i really think this is going to be the fun one i can see a lot of speedrunners having a lot of fun with this extra mode uh you know especially it gets pretty crazy pretty fast and so uh, i'm really looking forward to spending some more time with this and getting a little bit farther than i did but i really just wanted to share it with you i really think this is a good game this is you know a perfect fit on the switch there's the magic there definitely heavily inspired by golden axe and i really think that you know this is going to be a game that's going to be loved by many people especially arcade enthusiasts people like that arcade style gameplay or remember going growing up in the 90s and playing various games such as gauntlet or golden axe so is this something you would play does it remind you of an arcade classic comment below as i would love to hear your thoughts about this game and if you are intending to play it so there you have it it is going to be on physical on their website there's more information on where you can get this the game comes out at the end of the month and and i think it's great overall i loved what i played i definitely think this is going to appeal to people that love arcade style games as well as co-op that co-op mode in this really is awesome it is 30 bucks on various stores and e-shops i really like the music i like the graphics this gets my thumbs up and I liked it so much, I did get a physical version of it on the Geek Store, and you can get that now, you can pre-order that now. And I wanna say thank you so much for the ongoing support. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Have a good day and take care.